March is Women's History Month, and we're celebrating four extraordinary women of the 20s, the 1920s, who are inspiring our roaring 2021. When I think of the women of the 1920s who changed us for the better, of course, I think of all the ultra glam of the Gatsby and the fabulous out there flaunting flappers. But I also believe the 1920s fashion for women was also about liberation. For the first time, we literally had the ability to loosen up thanks to Mademoiselle Coco Chanel. Because of her, we truly were freed up to be our physical selves. Because of her forward thinking, we yanked off those pinching corsets and threw out those cinched waistlines. And for the first time, we could show our natural bust line and our authentic silhouette. And two, Coco brought us the casual chip and the wonderful trouser. I don't know about you, but I just can't imagine sitting in my Zoom Boom calls in a laced up corset and oh so tight waistbands. How restricting and uncomfortable. So as a woman, the next time you indulge in your next fine dinner or gallon of ice cream, thank Mademoiselle Coco Chanel for that expanded waistline and ability to just breathe and let it all hang out. Let us roar into this 2021 being thankful for our ability to move freely physically and our growing opportunities to share our voice such as the requirement for women on boards, and yet still recognize there's still liberating freedoms for women we have yet to embrace. Sam, who inspires you? When thinking about famous women of the Roaring Twenties that teach us lessons for our Roaring 2020s, I think of Zelda Sayer, AKA Zelda Fitzgerald. She was a free spirit who loved the arts of painting, writing, and obviously dancing. But why did I choose her? First, she was a risk taker and an adventurer. She believed in living life in the moment. In business, we need to be risk takers and adventurers too. In fact, the number one reason for failure in starting or growing a small business is a fearful mindset. Secondly, she was a leader. In fact, F. Scott Fitzgerald, her husband, called her the first flapper. Flappers were women who wore skirts, bobbed hair, listened to jazz, and flaunted what was then unacceptable behavior. He was an independent thinker and taught us to be authentic. Leadership is powerful when it's authentic. In fact, one of my favorite speakers, Craig Rochelle says, we want to follow leaders who are always real, not always right. So when looking at the Roaring Twenties, we can take these lessons to our Roaring 2020s. Let's remember to be adventurous and take risks to be successful. Plus, let's be authentic as people want to follow those types of leaders. Juana? Hi, thanks, Sam. So, the Roaring Twenties captures the blossoming of many legendary and inspirational women. We see the likes of such greats as the legendary jazz and blues singer Ethel Waters. She and many other African-American women would lead revolutionary change, demanding equality, ushering in social justice. Yes, standing on the front lines of the civil rights movement. Now these notable entertainers would use the notorious Cotton Club, which incidentally also opened in the 1920s to jumpstart their careers. They would bide their time, honing their skills as they grabbed for the brass ring into that world of art, culture, and entertainment. Now we as leaders may find ourselves in a bide your time career moment as we wait for our opportunity to shine. Use this time judiciously make effective use of it to become the best leader you can be. We pay homage to inspirational and legendary women of the 1920s, such as Ethel Waters, an African-American African -American LGBTQ plus woman who helped shape U.S. entertainment. Thank you. And here's Sam, Matt. <laughs> Hey, thanks, Twana. Yes, the Roaring Twenties marked progress for women's civil rights and gave us voices that echo through to our Roaring Twenty Twenties. One of my childhood heroes was and still is Helen Keller. Her story fascinates me. An extraordinary journey of how she overcame the triple developmental disabilities of being blind, deaf, and mute. During the 1920s, Keller used her voice becoming a global advocate of civil rights for those with disabilities. In 1920, Keller joined other social activists in forming the American Civil Liberties Union. 
Also, she became affiliated with the American Foundation for the Blind in 1924. Coincidentally, the American Foundation for the Blind was founded in 1921 and is celebrating their 100th anniversary this year. Helen Keller served as a beacon of leadership in the Roaring Twenties, and her contributions resound through to our Roaring Twenty Twenties. So, happy Women's History Month. This month, who are you celebrating? 